got the patience to build a great brand or have you got the or are you building a brand that's basically just trying to raise more and more and more and more investment now there are so many great products that come out of you know london in terms of like what pip and nut did to nut butters what money life did as well or, or what lucky saint are doing to alcohol free beer like you can go really deep on that but i know that there are a lot of maybe more um you know uh say brands that have got access to more funding and that can be almost this thing of going like you could spend four years you've wasted a couple of extra hundred thousand pounds or even millions and you go the brand doesn't necessarily work as much as you thought it would be, as much as you thought it would. So I think that can sometimes be more of a problem. Is there an example of that? Yeah, like, for example, I don't walk into, after all the years of, say, kombucha, and this is no this is no disrespect to any kombucha brand, if I don't, I haven't walked into a off-license in Wales and ever seen kombucha. Like, I just haven't. And, like, there's, you know, there's obviously a market for this. It's 